I'm Jeff DeRosier, Director of Business Development for Swedish-based Vitsab International. At Vitsab, we engineer and manufacture custom-designed smart time temperature indicator labels known as TTIs. These smart labels monitor time and temperature and they work like a stoplight. When you start them, they start green and if there is temperature abuse within parameters, they will change to yellow and then red. They're a visual indicator, so they will alert the people that receive the product as to the complete journey that product has been on. Pretty exciting technology. Well, I'm real excited today, and you're in for a special treat, because my mentor, who has taught me everything I know about TTI technology, is here with us today to share us some insights with us. Dr. Peter Renault, I welcome you today. Thank you for stopping by for this interview. Thank you, Jeff. It's oh, a pleasure. Yeah, pleasure to see you again. Now, I know you have a very busy travel schedule, and as a matter of fact, you just came back from the sixth international cold chain management conference in Bonn, Germany. So this year, what was the main topic of the conference itself, and then what did you present as a topic for speaking? Uh, the main topic was shipment of uh, food products and this is done globally because today's food production has uh, distances themselves from, from uh, our society and that's why we have shipments going from continent to continent to supply us with foods uh, all year round. And um, uh, we, we focused, Vitsab focused on on the TTIs that we have produced for a couple of these uh, uh, f man temperature management controls. Okay. And um, they have, um, uh, it helps us to validate that the food would be safe to eat. Okay. Uh, we have uh, recently launched a new product that monitors oysters at, at harvest and also through the, the subsequent distribution system. Oh. And it ensures that uh, the oysters uh, are safe to eat uh, because they have been kept subsequent, uh, sufficiently cooled. Excellent. And um, uh, this was the main phase of, of uh, our presentation at, at the conference. Oh, very good, very relevant too, because as I understand it, for an individual mm -hmm. food category or item, live oysters causes the largest amount of illness. Yes, it had recently been uh, documented in the U.S. over the past decades, the number of vibriosis have increased dramatically, and especially during the summer months, that is June, July, September, and that's when the temperatures are at, at its peak. As ah. well. Okay, so it sounds like the bacteria that you're protecting against increases as temperature goes up, is that correct? Yes, uh, that's uh, how all, almost all bacteria work at increased temperatures. They grow much more quickly and therefore they uh, increase in numbers and they can quickly get to so high numbers that they cause an illness if, if ingested. Ah, okay, so it seems like then the bacteria growth is not steady, it's a variable growth. So how does the TTI technology work with a variable growth like that? Well, it comes from the fact that low temperatures bacteria grow uh, poorly on some species don't grow at all. Okay. And that's why we are, have employed the chilling techniques uh, during distribution in the the uh, supermarkets and our refrigerators at home right and it's in, it is important that we can follow the product all the way through the distribution and be sure that the cool chain has been kept uh, at a certain sufficiently low temperature ah, that's a good point i just wanted to follow up on that because if there's a breakdown in the cold chain at one location, but yet it gets rechilled when it gets to the end, that person's not going to know that there was the breakdown. That is exactly right. Ah. And um, as we say, uh, you abuse the the temperature, abuse the food in the beginning, but you don't see it until it reaches uh, the spoilage 
uh, prematurely. Okay. And some people can't visually see any concern with the product, so they might consume it even though it's not good for them. Is that right? That, that can be the case. Mm. Uh, but usually when it's uh, generally spoilage, uh, if you're observant enough, you will uh, look at the product, it looks discolored, or it will have a foul smell. Okay. And then, of course, one shouldn't eat the product. Uh, uh, and, but the, some cases, especially with pathogenic bacteria, right. uh, they can become, reach a dangerous level far before the product is, becomes spoiled. Ah, okay. So that's why it's so easy to get uh, food uh, uh, disease. So. Okay, okay, and actually be adversely affected even though visually you don't see a problem. That's right. Ah, so the TTI technology then that's being employed tells the whole story of the journey then, it seems. Yes. Yes. And this is what we are working f uh, towards to get the producers and the distributors to use the TTIs uh, so they can actually validate the, the chill chain okay. uh, for themselves. And if that is validated, that also means that we will get healthy and fresh products on our dinner tables. Excellent, and probably reduce waste and spoilage as well as hopefully lower the number of illnesses that are being reported. That's another uh, by effect mm. or effect of using TTIs is that uh, maintaining a proper low temperature throughout uh, will give a longer shelf life to the food products. Excellent. And it can even be beyond the best before date uh, uh, printed on, on the product that we buy in the supermarket. Ah, very good. That's really an effective tool. Yeah. Well, the exciting part about this is you now have an opportunity to get involved. And what I mean by that is, if you go to our homepage, vitsab.com, at the very bottom you'll see my name, Jeff DeRosier, and you can click on my email, and you could send me a question to ask the expert that we could get some information out to you directly that Peter could be able to answer uh, for you directly. So we want to challenge you. We want to hear your questions. We want to understand what your concerns are. And moving forward, maybe you'll help us get involved in identifying another opportunity to really help prevent illness and increase the amount of food being consumed. And that way it's better for all of us. Well, Dr. Renault, I thank you so much for your time today. Okay. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Jeff. All right. It was a pleasure. Excellent. Always a pleasure to see yeah. you. And we'll talk to you soon. Thank you very much.